read a lot of the greats and, and be true to yourself. Don't try to copy a trend or catch a market. Just write what you love to read. Treat it like a business. Um, work every day on it. Uh, do your research. Um, know the genre, read everything in your genre, be well read, be knowledgeable about the authors and about uh, marketing and publicity and everything. Just treat it like a business. You'll do much better that way as opposed to if you just treat it like a creative hobby. It's definitely your talent that's important, but I think equally just as important is your, you know, perseverance. Just Every time you kind of get knocked down, the ability to get back up again, there's probably going to be rejection. Think of it as like earning your stripes, you know, those a rejection letter or from, be it from an editor or an agent. And, um, you know, kind of be proud of it. That's part of what it means to be a professional writer. Just keep writing uh, book after book after book. Like, don't get stuck on the first one because you learn with every single manuscript you learn something new. And if you if you really love the idea, you can just write it again. And you can write it a different way. You can rewrite it from scratch. You just have to keep at that process because you have to get it inside you the way that the whole, and the more you do it, the more you get it you can keep growing as a writer. Follow your heart and be sure and always write the book you want to read. There's two things. The first is keep reading. Um, don't stop reading because you're writing. It, your writing will suffer for it. Two, and it's not, a, it's not really a hard thing to do, although sometimes it feels like the hardest thing to do, but you just have to write. And every day, you have to write as much as you can you know, if you can write every day, that's great, but just make sure that every time you sit down to your computer, um, whether it's 10 words or 10,000, um, you get words on the page. Never give up and believe in yourself. Read, because it's really important to know what's in the market. And um, don't be shy, you know, send an email, ask your favorite author how they got started. We'd love to talk about it. We'd love to answer questions. Write every day, even if it's for only five minutes, because once you develop that habit of writing, you get stronger and stronger and you don't lose the continuity of the story because if you take big breaks in between, you lose your story, you lose the rhythm. So write every day. Here's the best thing to do is to write every day um, because you only learn to write by writing. Read a lot of romance novels and don't be afraid to try. It's a lot of fun and if it's in your heart, you'll write it well. You just surrender to the process and jump in and do it. Don't wait for someone to call you on the phone and say, yes, I think you can write a book. You can take classes, uh, academic classes, and, and you can do all, go to seminars and go to workshops. Those are all good. But at the same time, at some point, you have to sit down and start writing and figure it out for yourself. The other piece of advice is you will learn more from a writer over a cup of coffee than you will in any workshop. To write without holding back, um, write as much as you can and don't worry about what anybody thinks, just write what's in your heart. Read, 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 and then write, write, write. You find out what you love to write about and then you sit down and you make yourself do it. You don't talk about it to other people and diffuse the energy too much. You don't think about it. You sit down, you write something bad because you can't fix it until it's down there. If you wait for it to be perfect, it won't happen. I think two things that are really key, you know, number one is to develop a great network of friends around you, writing friends, and to me that has been, I just feel like I finally met the friends that I was, you know, meant to, to meet all my life, and they're incredibly supportive, uh, both, you know, in the writing process and the publication process, and the other thing is just to develop a thick skin, um, to be very open to criticism, especially from your editor, from, you know, from people who really, you know, understand the craft, understand uh, the industry. Uh, but also to not let the, you know, the more snide and gratuitous comments get to you. And sometimes people aren't going to get your books. What one reader adores about your writing is something that another reader, uh, it's going to be nails on chalkboard. So you have to, you have to accept that you can't please everyone. Uh, you know, to kind of celebrate the good, take the uh, constructive criticism, and you know, try to set the bad aside.